Hey guys, it's been a few months since the last Charm Editor was released. The old one was already doing its job great, however there were a few flaws and some bugs occurring to some people. So Fexy decided to make a new updated version of it which is way more user friendly, is bug free, supports all languages in the game and has a few more features besides editing charms and adding materials. However, in case you discover a bug, feel free to formally submit it on Nexus page, aka a bit of detail and not just please fix no work. So let's just get this step by step. Step 1 is the installation. After you download the zip file from Nexus mod, you can just extract it, copy or cut all the files in the folder and go to your rice folder. If you're already using any mods, you should have the reframework and its folder. If not, you can find the download link in the description. So you go into reframework, plugins and drop both of the files in there. Step 2 will be to launch the game and go to your equipment box. Alright guys, so once you're here on your equipment box, you can see all your charms that you have. And you're gonna go to the drop down which says rise.editor. If you by accident clicked away this, you can recall it by hitting the insert button. You're gonna drop down and you can see charm editor, player editor, item box editor and loadout editor. The first thing which we're gonna talk about is charm editor and we're gonna go step by step on how to use all of them. So on the charm editor, it will display you all the charms that you already have. So this instantly reads your equipment box. What you're gonna do if you wanna add a new charm, instead of adding an existing charm, you're gonna click this button here, add empty charm. And you're gonna see it's already added, zero, 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 zero. So if you're gonna go in your game, you're gonna see that it's added. So now you can select the charm and start editing it. Rarity should be always seven since you're probably going for a best slot charm or max out charm. And please make sure to use only legit charms. I mean, even if you do use a charm that's not possible in game, the game will delete it for you. So there is no way of getting a charm that's not legit. There will be a link in the description which links you to an excel sheet and shows the max levels of each charm and the max slots. It's really easy to use. So now let's say we want an attack boost level 3 charm, you just click 3 here, which is the max possible value of attack boosts on the first place. And second is agitator. Agitator, the max value is 2 if it's on the second place. And the slot can be always 3 one one if it's an for example an a and an a or an s and an s tier but again you have to read all this of the sheet to see what's possible and what's not in game and if it's not possible it will just get deleted no issues and yeah that's already it so once you're back at the game it's already edited you see it's set simple to use so there is a new feature which is exporting board charms assuming you have a friend which already has like the best in slot charms and you don't want to add a single by single you can either import charms and import the file from your friend after you click here or you can export charms and make your own file so if i hit export charms it will save a json file and you can send the json file to your friend and your friend will just save it on his pc click import charms and open that file again up so now that we're done with the charm editor we can go to the player editor so Pretty much self-explaining, Seni, you just edit your Seni. Hunter rank points, you just edit your Hunter rank points. But be careful on this, uh, read the warning, setting Hunter rank manual is not recommended. If you set your Hunter rank without adjusting your Hunter rank points, you will be stuck at the specific Hunter rank until you legitimately acquire the experience points required to get that rank. Instead, edit only Hunter rank points, then complete any quest your hunter rank will uh, adjust accordingly. So we recommend never editing your hunter rank, but your hunter rank points. Let's say you put here, like I have, for example, 323k. You're gonna add the number in, and then you're gonna complete the quest. You're gonna be hunter rank 248, assuming you already went over the caps. For example, the Teostra quest, the Wildstrux quest, you know, all the quests that kept your hunter rank. So the item box editor got also super simplified, so it automatically reads all the items that you have in your box. 
So all you have to do is just change your amount. For example, I have 7,000 heal pots. I want now only 300. And it's already done. You go back in game, manage items, transfer items, and you can see it's set to 300. Let's put it back to 1000, because no one likes to farm hips. See, already 1000. So here again you have an option to add all items 1000 times or 9909 times. Clear item box or clear a selected item. You even have an itemless filter, which is amazing, because uh, you don't need to search for IDs anymore. You can just search for the name item. For example, um, I'll just say ammo. And now on the drop down, it will show only the ammo types, basically anything that includes ammo in the name. Do the same for potions. And yeah, it shows all the potions. So this makes it super easy to find specific items you're looking for. The only thing you have to pay attention is to write the name correct. Uh, currently, I think lowercase doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't ignore lowercase, but this should be fixed on the uploaded version. Just as a charm editor, you have again the option to export items or import items from your friend. So the last thing on the rice data editor is the loadout editor. This was added simply to be able to delete your loadouts. And the reason for this is that some people have reported that on the previous one there was an issue with your loadouts. When you're loading into your loadouts, the game will crash. For example, if you press here, manage equipment and then equipment loadouts, you're, uh, you won't be able to get in here and your game will instantly crash, which means you will never be able to access again your loadouts or play on that character. So hopefully if this error reoccurs for some reason, we don't really know why it occurs and it's super rare, but it could happen, assuming it happens from the editor and it's not an issue with the game. You could just delete for here manually all loadouts so you don't run into the issue. Alright, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed this guide and helps you with installation and the use of the editor. With that said, I wish you all a nice day and happy hunting.